Hi, Yoram Solomon again with another Tech Tip for Speakers. You know, one of the issues when you go and present in a venue is that they would typically ask you to use their laptop or their computer that's already connected to the uh, projector, to the screens, to, to the sound system if, if applicable, and you are used to running it off of your laptop. And so now you're trying to send the file to them because they already asked you to send them the file. I have two presentations next week uh, for which they all asked me, send the files, we're gonna use our own computers. And so either you bring it on a flash drive or you send it to them. And if it's PowerPoint, what's the first thing that happens? The formatting changes. Well, I want to show you what to do in case the formatting changes. So, uh, and I want to show you how to avoid formatting changes when you use their laptop. One of the main things is that your laptop may have fonts that their laptop does not. You may be running exactly the same PowerPoint version, but you used one of the fonts that's a little different and you may have downloaded it, or maybe it's just a font that exists on your computer and doesn't exist on theirs. It's not part, part of PowerPoint. Well, in this case, I want you to go to on PowerPoint, and I'm only talking about PowerPoint here. Go to the file part of that file, that presentation, go down to options. And when you go to options, go to save. Under save, there are all kinds of functions. One of them, and you already see that it's checked for me, the default is not checked embed the fonts in the file. That will make the file a little bigger because now the file will include the fonts themselves. To make it not as big is to just embed the characters that are used in the presentation. So maybe you use the font just on a few slides and maybe only letters, maybe only capital letters and not the entire character set that's part of that font in different sizes and all that will make the file a lot bigger. So what I typically do is embed the fonts in the file and then embed only the characters used in this presentation. You can see already that this is the default that I use in my presentations. Again, it's applicable only to PowerPoint, but it's something to keep in mind that's one less thing to go wrong when you use somebody else's computer to present your presentation, again on PowerPoint. I hope this helps. Take care, be safe, be trusted.